hello guys welcome back to the chart tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix cyber pink punk 2077 is crashing not launching or having access violation black screen issue and all these and how we can fix this up so let's uh, get into this so the first one what you have to do is just have to follow the instruction that is the first step is all about you have to install the graphics card manually that is a very important step when it comes to how to fix the crashing and all this issue so i'll be providing a link in the description to both uh, official nvidia as well as for the amd as you can see this is the official nvidia and the amd so from here if you scroll down you have to give all these details like product type product series product operating system so mine is windows 11 so i have to change this to windows 11 go for language go for everything and go for start search so when you go for start search you'll be getting the latest update updated patch like as you can see so this is the latest version that is uh, 526.98 which is released on november 16 2022 so you have to download this one just download this so this is around uh, i think around 800 mb so i have already downloaded and installed it so you just have to download it and just open the .exe when it is successfully done moving to the same if you go for the amd AMD, you have to select the graphics, select uh, the respective AMD, go for the respective one, go for the respective models and all those things, just go for submit. And here, as you can see, you will be able to get, when you tap on submit, you will be able to get uh, the further options, like two options, Windows 11, 64-bit, Windows 10. If you are on Windows 11, select this one and download AMD software at Gnallin Edition, download this one. If you are on Windows 10, select this one and download this one. So this is the first step. You have to update or uh, update it to, uh, the graphics card manually. And this is a very important step that's going to fix all the time uh, the issue regarding crashing and all those things. And if it's not working, then we just have to move to the next one. Next one is all about you have to turn off Steam Overlay. You have to steam, turn off Steam Overlay. So you can do that from here itself. If you right click on the game, go to properties. You can see the enable Steam Overlay. As you can see, this is being turned off. So usually in some cases, maybe in your cases, this might be turned on. So you have to check yourself and if it's just turned on, you just have to uncheck this. That means you are disabling the steam overlay. And if you are on uh, and also make sure there is no big things is running in the background. For example, as you can see, I'm having many apps and especially the discord and all these kind of issues are actually a big headache when it comes to this. So you have to open the task manager, right click over here, go to task manager. Now from here, as you can see, you have to check. Right now, these are the important thing which is running in the background. But apart from that, there are many things, around 93 things are running in my background. See, some of these, for example, like Discord, antivirus and all these things are draining out our performance a lot and that is causing the crashing and launching issue. So you just have to select the Discord like this, right click, go for end the task. Simultaneously, you have to select the unwanted thing, for example, F secure, just end the task and all these things you have to select from this and you have to avoid maximum things. That is draining out your performance and that is one of the main reason why you are having crashing issue so that's why i'm suggesting this this is very important step moving to the next one is all about you have to try starting game from red pre-launcher as an admin for that just open the steam now red click right click go to properties now click on local files click on browse so you are re very redirectedly taken to this okay you are taken to where the game is installed as you can see this is this pc local to c program file 86 steam steam apps common cyberpunk 2077 so here as you can see this is the application that is red pre-launcher so you have to run the game from here as an admin so right click go to show more options go for properties now from here click on compatibility and now click on run this program as an administrator select this one go for apply go for ok after this most probably the issue will be completely fixed and even if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one next one is you just have to verify integrity of game file so i'll show you that from the start select the respective game that is cyberpunk 2077 right click go to properties click on local files click on verify integrity of game file so when you click on verify integrity of game file so this will take a bit of time so here what happens is this step is very important that if any files are missed and if any files are corrupted all these kind of issues are fixed from this particular end and this is very important step you should not be neglecting this so this is very important step that should be following this particular step 
that is this is very important that sometimes you know some uh, missing files and all these things can cause the issue so you just have to follow this so i'll move to the next one now next one is all about you have to run the game as an admin admin from the installation folder so as i said above you can directly navigate from here if you click on the browse you can directly navigate to this and apart from this we can also navigate to it by just going where the game is installed for that just open your this uh, i mean this pc now click on game from here go to program file 86 most probably all the game get installed on uh, local disk c now from here scroll down and navigate to steam folder scroll down select steam folder now go for steam app go for common select over here cyberpunk 2077 select this one now as you can see we are having the launcher here so right click go to show more options we have to run the game as an administrator right so what you have to do is just right click go for run as an administrator so here when you click on run and administrator this will be running in the background so you just have to i'll be cancelling it so just go over here and once it is running run as uh, i mean under the background as you can see it is very important so that we just have to open the game most probably when you do this it might be working out moving to the next one is all about you have to update your windows to the latest version for that just go over here in the search go for settings go for windows update and check for latest update as you can see i'm having some issue update failed error so i have to click on this and i have to wait it so most probably after updating this the issue has to be fixed regarding this so our OS should be in the latest version to run these kind of games. So it is quite important to update your OS to the latest version. Moving to the next one is all about you have to install Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll show you that. You just have to go for Google and you have to search for Microsoft Visual C++. Okay. So I'll search here. Microsoft Visual C++. Click on over here. Now from here, if you scroll down, there are two options, x86 and 64. So mine is 64, so I have to download this. If it is 86, you can download this. After downloading this, most probably just install it, then close everything, do a restart, then try to launch the game. Here I have already downloaded the Microsoft in uh, Microsoft Visual C++. So you have to just download it and there is no issue with that. Moving to the next one is all about you have to perform a clean boot. So to perform a clean boot, just go over here in the search then we just have to search for system configuration search for system configuration now from here we'll be getting an option like this select services go for hide all microsoft services and go for disable all once it is done just close everything go back to the steam and try to launch the game and most probably the issue will be completely fixed moving to the next one is all about you have to allow the cyberpunk 2077 game exe file to window security for that just go to settings now from here search for control panel from here just select windows defender firewall now from here click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here you just have to scroll down and select whether cyberpunk is already added so here the cyberpunk 2077 is already added in both private and public so imagine if it's not there if it's not there then we just have to click on allow another app now go for browse when you go for browse just go to this pc select local disk d Sorry, C, scroll down and program file 86, scroll down and navigate to Steam. Now from here, just scroll down and go to Steam apps, select common. Now from here, Cyberpunk 2077, select this folder. So here I have already added. So if I click add, it will not be adding because it's already there in the list. So this is how you can add. If it's not there, I have shown you how to add this and you can try with this. Moving to the next one is all about you have to uninstall and reinstall the game. For uninstalling and reinstalling the game, you have to go over here in the Steam, right click, go for manage, there is an option to uninstall, uninstall it. And when you are reinstalling it back, it should be on, should not be on local disk C. For example, as I said above, it is minus in local disk C. But imagine if I am having various drives and if I am already uninstalling the game from C, then I am reinstalling back, it should be on D or E, it should not be on C. Okay, and this is what you have to do when it comes to how to fix. That is cyberpunk 2077 is having crushing issue access violation not launching black screen issue and all those things and how we can successfully fix this app and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out and also i'll be providing a link in the description where you can read the same article on our website get joy tips 
have a try on it also. So that's about it. Bye bye. See you in the next video. That's it.